Good morning, friends. Greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health, vitality, and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number today... 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about, comments or success stories you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to join the longevity team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you've enjoyed the benefits of nutritional supplementation, if you've seen how powerful it is in your life, and you want to help spread the word and make a little money at the same time, if you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneurially minded, please check out our website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks associated with having your own business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, all by working out of your, the comfort of your own living room, working as many or as little hours as you like. Eight, uh, call 866-735-2470 for more info or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also, would like to remind you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. We've got free shipping for the month of December. We also have trial sizes of our Truth Serum and Truth Balm available if you wanted to check it out. Uh, they last, the trial sizes will last you probably one to two months. Our full sizes will last you three or four or even more months. Our retinol 5% gel, Truth Retinol 5% gel can last you up to a year when used as directed. You can find out all about our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Free shipping for the month of December, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We've been talking about fluoride, the element fluoride, the toxic element fluoride. It's a a class of element, a class of compound, a class of elements, I should say, called halogens, like bromine, which we talked about in the past. These halogens are iodine lookalikes that can disrupt the functioning of thyroid hormone. Like bromine, fluoride is naturally found in the environment, in the soils, and trace amounts. It's a natural constituent of the biosphere of the planet, of the soils. And in the correct concentrations, like you'll find in natural foods, produce like tomatoes, cucumbers, beets. The king of fluoride is green tea. Regular tea's got a lot of fluoride in it. Fluoride is, has got some, some nutritional benefits. It's more nutritionally valuable than bromine. It's important for building bones and making tissue, tissues hard. If you eat fluoride-containing foods with other nutrients like calcium and magnesium, you won't get as many, you, uh, you won't get a toxic amount of fluoride. That's the way nature works. It always balances out its minerals and natural foods. That's what a natural food is. A natural food is a substance that has its minerals and its vitamins and its macronutrients, proteins and fats and carbohydrates all in perfect balance. When we process foods, we disrupt that balance. That's what a processed food is or a junk food. Processed food equals a junk food. 
There's no healthy processed foods. There are processed foods that are healthier, maybe, but there's no healthy processed foods because in the nature of processing, in the process of, in the process of processing, if I can say it that way, the natural balance of the vitamins and the minerals and the trace nutrients is thrown off. That's what makes a food a processed food. Natural foods have all their nutrients balanced. So when you eat, get your fluoride from your tomatoes or from green tea, you're going to get it with calcium, you're going to get it magnesium, with magnesium, and you're going to limit the amount of fluoride that you're getting into your system. That's a good thing because too much fluoride is not a good thing. Too much fluoride is, is toxic. Calcium and magnesium are always found in fluoride-containing foods. So nature knows that fluoride can be toxic, so it puts calcium and magnesium and other minerals, other nutrients in with the fluoride. Now, if you're getting your fluoride from other places, i.e. from water and from toothpaste, well, that's just another reason to make sure you're using your magnesium and calcium in supplemental form. That's just another reason to get on your Beyond Osteo Effects and your, your other longevity products, including your Ultimate Youth, which we don't talk about a lot, but it's a really nice chelating, uh, chelating nutritional supplement. It magnetically pulls out toxins. Why? Because it's made with flavonoids. We spent a lot of time talking about flavonoids a couple months back. Flavonoids are super valuable for helping the body detoxify itself. Flavonoids are found in natural, uh, in produce and natural fruits and vegetables. Anything with colors, pigments, is going to have these flavonoids. And the, your ultimate youth product from longevity is a flavonoid-rich, pigment-rich nutritional supplement. Not essential, not an essential supplement, but it's great for chelating and detoxification, particularly chelating and detoxifying fluoride. You know, there's like half a million tons of fluoride that is dumped into lakes and rivers and oceans every year. Another 150, 155,000, this is according to the EPA, by the way, another 155,000 tons of fluoride is pumped out into the, into the air. That stuff we're breathing and drinking, aside from the stuff that's intentionally put in the water, aside from the stuff that we brush our teeth with, it's just an environmental toxin. It's an industrial waste product. So we've talked about, uh, we've talked about uh, the relationship of fluoride to the thyroid. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. We've talked about the relationship of fluoride to intestinal health issues. Did you know small amounts of fluoride, just tiny little amounts of fluoride, like you, the kind of the amounts that you swallow when you drink tap water or the amounts that you swallow when you, when you brush your teeth can cause digestive distress? According to the website nofluoride.com, fluoride can be especially damaging to lipases. Those are fat-dissolving enzymes, fat metabolism, and fat processing. Fat digestion is way trickier than water digestion. Remember, there's two types of, of foods or food chemicals, water-soluble and fat-soluble. Water-soluble chemicals like molecules like electrolytes and vitamins like the B-complex and vitamin C, those aren't so difficult to process to get out of foods. Your fat-soluble nutrients, your essential fatty acids, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin K, certain minerals, these are much trickier to extract from foods. And one of the ways the body extracts these things from foods is via the actions of enzymes that come out of the pancreas, so-called lipases. Well, it turns out fluoride disrupts lipases. That means it's going to disrupt fat absorption. That means all kinds of fat malabsorption issues can ensue. And because fats are important for growth and repair, you could have problems healing from wounds. You could have problems recovering from injuries. You'll certainly have aging issues, accelerated aging issues. If you have problems metabolizing fats, that is, fluoride can cause accelerated aging via disruption of lipases. You have skin issues, reproductive issues, menstrual cramps, PMS. These can all be related to fluoride toxicity, secondary or uh, uh, leading to lipase problems, lipase issues, fluoride disrupting the activity of this fat dissolving enzyme lipase. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. You're listening to the bright side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, fluoridation of water. What do you think about fluoridation of water? Does anybody out there actually support putting fluoride in the water? A, a well-known brain toxin, well-known bo bone toxin, a well-known toxin, just period. Industrial contaminant, industrial waste. Anybody support putting that in the water supply? If you have comments, success stories you'd like to share, 844 is our number. Questions about the longevity products, longevity business. 
questions about our True Skin Health products, ingredients, 844-236-6010 is our number, and you can check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% gel, made with a big old dose of retinol, more retinol than you're going to find in any other product that you can get in a department store or salon, and you'll also get a big dose of vitamin C with your retinol as well. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, silicon, oil, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products. If you're looking for an anti-aging product, if you've got dark spots, you want to prevent dark spots or wrinkles or fine lines, retinol is your go-to active ingredient, especially when it's combined with vitamin C. Our vitamin C is fat-soluble vitamin C, premium stabilized vitamin C, and our retinol, truth retinol 5% gel will last a year or more in your medicine cabinet way better deal than any Retin-A you'll get from the doctor's office or from the pharmacy. You know, when you buy Retin-A, which is made with retinoic acid, a much stronger version of retinol, you're also getting propylene glycol and sodium lauryl sulfate and methylparaben and propylparaben, just a yucky formulation Retin-A is. On the other hand, my Retinol, Truth Retinol 5% Gel is made with nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want, just active and functional ingredients. In fact, all our Truth Treatment products are made with 100% active and functional ingredients. You should not have to pay for ingredients that your skin is not using or doesn't want. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, free shipping for the month of December. Okay, so fluoride, nasty stuff that it is, is dumped into the water supply. It's pumped out into the air as industrial waste, put into the water as industrial waste, and intentionally put into the water for, uh, supposedly, to help us with their teeth. But, you know, it's a toxin, and it's especially toxic for the thyroid. It's also toxic for the bones. It's also toxic to the brain. Just, uh, where did I read this? Just uh, a couple years ago, a uh, published uh, Harvard study was published to show that children living in areas that had fluoridated water had significantly, this is a, their quote, quote, significantly lower, unquote, IQ scores than those living in areas where the water had low fluoride levels. This was a study that analyzed the results of 27 prior investigations and found that fluoride may be a developmental neurotoxin that affects brain development in children. And not only that, it affects it in children at exposures below those that cause toxicity in adults. They're much more sensitive. Kids are much more sensitive to the neurotoxic, brain toxic effects of fluoride as they are uh, to, the, to the toxic effects of anything. Kids are growing. They're developing. They're sucking up nutrients like a dry sponge sucks up water. Other studies have shown that fluoride is linked to the plaques that form in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Now, I don't know necessarily that fluoride would cause the plaques directly, but they could, if the fluoride can certainly damage the brain and lead to the plaques. This stuff is crazy that we're putting this stuff in the water. Now, we talked about, we're going to talk more about hypothyroidism. That's how we got on this whole subject, hypothyroidism and, and fluoride. And I, it seems pretty likely, I'm not going to say for sure, but it seems likely that the fact that hypothyroidism, the incidence of hypothyroidism has exploded in the last 60 years, and that's basically when we started putting fluoride in the water, there's some connection. I don't know if it's exactly causal, 100% causal, but there's got to be some relationship, fluoride being toxic to tissue, toxic to the brain, and toxic to the thyroid. And, as we talked about before our break, toxic to the digestive system, especially the pancreas and the enzymes, the lipase, the fat-dissolving enzymes that come out of the pancreas. Fat-dissolving enzymes are important for our building molecules, for building, for growth, for repair. That's what fatty, that's what fatty substances do, fat, uh, fatty nutrients do. EFAs, essential fatty acids, fatty vitamins, DEEK, D-E-A-K, and minerals which are fatty are anabolic. They're building. They're involved in the stress management. They're involved in how we handle duress in our life. They're involved in making sure that we grow and we, and we repair when our body's breaking down. They're anti-aging. And these are specifically the kinds of nutritional compounds that are disrupted by fluoride ingestion. It's almost like there's some kind of intentional desire to keep us, to, to age us. This is like all the memes, all the ideas that we have about health that are supposedly good for us, things like taking statin drugs and putting fluoride in the water are, and reducing fat intake. Are, these, are all, these are all pro-aging. This advice is all pro-aging. It's almost like somebody wants us to age. Somebody wants us to get out of the gene pool quickly. These crazy ideas and these crazy strategies that we have uh, regarding our health age us. They prevent growth and repair. 
They keep us from being able to live long lives. They break us down earlier. They increase the odds that we're going to be interacting with the medical model. Is it a conspiracy? I don't know, but it just, I can't figure out why they do things like that. All you got to do is look up, go to any, any toxicology textbook and you'll see fluoride's a toxin. I'm not making it up. All drugs are toxins. I'm not making that up. That's not a po- That's not rhetorical. That's not poetry. That's exactly what they are. They're toxins, as opposed to nutrients, which are used. What, what is a toxin as opposed to a nutrient? A nutrient's used by the body. A toxin isn't. A nutrient is incorporated into cells. A toxin has to be eliminated. Do you think there's any prescription drugs that are incorporated into cells and used as part of the body that the body wants? No. They, there may be some, some drugs that fake the body out, that trick the body into using them, but for the most part, toxins or drugs are treated as toxins and need to be eliminated out of the body. Fluoride counts as a drug. Fluoride needs to be eliminated from the body unless it, it's found in food, unless it's found in natural food. Body doesn't like fluoride. It'll use it. It'll incorporate it into bone, but the net result is weaker bone, and that's why hip fractures increase in areas where there's lots of fluoride. There's nothing good about this stuff. Nothing. Uh, I should say nothing good about the stuff when it's added, added artificially into water. It's an industrial waste. Just read the package insert on sodium fluoride, the drug sodium fluoride, and you'll see one of the major side effects of sodium fluoride pills when they're taken as a drug is gastric distress and ulceration and ulcers. Quote, sodium fluoride should not be used in patients with gastric problems. Unquote. That's directly from the package insert. Well, we all have digestive problems, and we're all doing fluoride. In addition to the problems with the, um, with the fat dissolving enzymes, with the lipases, you, get, you have a higher risk of stomach disorders and bowel disorders. This can show up as cramping, gastric pain, chronic nausea and vomiting, which children are especially susceptible to. As I said earlier, children are especially susceptible to fluoride toxicity. How many of us are just dealing with cramping issues we can't figure out why, and it's the tap water? Or our fluoridated toothpaste, or the produce that's, wa- that, that's grown with, with fluoride? And so this, this idea that fluoride is associated with digestive toxicity raises the question of how much unexplained gastric health issues, including ulcers, IBS, ulcerative colitis, colon cancer, are the result of excessive ingestion of fluoridated water. Fluoridated water is going to get you one or two fluoride pills per gallon, maybe more. And these are prescription medicines. So we're basically drinking medical water, medicalized water, when we drink tap water. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lots more to talk about when it comes to fluoride, fluoridation, and we'll talk later on, we'll talk about how you can eliminate or how you can reduce at least your intake of fluoride through water. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. We are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time on the GCN Radio Network. Also 24-7 on our BrightSideBen.com and BenFuchsArchives.com websites, BrightSideBen.com and BenFuchsArchives.com. All the shows are archived. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting up BenFuchsArchives.com. It's a really cool website that it's kind of a compilation of all my stuff. In the last 10 years or so, I've been doing lots of YouTubes and radio interviews interviews and I've got multiple websites and blogs and et cetera, et cetera. They're all at the uh, BenFuchsArchives.com. Thank you so much, Peter, for doing that. Also, uh, BrightSideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, that's my blog, and CriticalHealthNews.com. And we have news stories, blog posts, as well as all the longevity products up at all our websites, BrightSideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, and CriticalHealthNews.com. And our Truth Skin Health products are all up at TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com. So we've got lots more to say about fluoride. Fluoride, uh, we're all getting, we're all getting fluoride. You know, it, it's everywhere. It's not only pumped out into the air and dropped into the water and put into the, the water supply intentionally. Poultry products and meat products uh, are, contain fluoride because the chickens and the cows are drinking fluoridated water. Not only that, but uh, bones tend to accumulate. Uh, uh, t- tend to accumulate fluoride. Connective tissue tends to accumulate fluoride, especially the bones. 
So if you're eating lots of things like uh, chicken nuggets and ground chicken and food that contains bone particles, ground up bone particles and connective tissue particles, you're likely getting lots of fluoride. Cereals made with fluoride, fluoridated water. Fluoride is actually used as a fumigant. Uh, it's, and also as, a, uh, also as a type, of, it's a component of certain pesticides. Potatoes, broccoli, squash, tomatoes, citrus fruits, and not to mention the fact that a lot of these have natural fluoride in them as well. It's a big, big, a big, huge, huge health problem that nobody's talking about unless, you know, you folks who are listening to this program, we, we all know about it, but out there in the quote-unquote real world, nobody's talking about this issue, and it's a big, big, big problem. All right, got lots more to say about fluoride. We talked a little bit about what you could do to detoxify yourself from fluoride. I'm going to talk about water filters here in the next few days. And then, uh, and then let's see what else here. Talk about fluoroderma. You know, there's a skin condition that can be caused by excess fluoride called fluoroderma. We'll talk about that in the coming days. On the bright side, I think I got some stories here, but I think we're going to go to the phones. We got a full board. 844-236-6010 is our number. And uh, Mike in San Francisco has been holding on for a long time. Good morning, Mike. What's going on, buddy? Uh, hello, Ben. Thanks hey. for taking my call. Sure. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, I'm having a real problem. I don't know how to deal with, nor uh, I don't know where to go to deal with this uh, ongoing problem. What's the deal? This this uh, cognitive dysfunction is severe. Uh, at the same time, uh, there's dizziness slash okay. spaciness. At okay, the same gotcha. time, there's uh, it literally feels like my body parts are detached. Okay, all right, Mike. All right, is this? Hang on, bro. Is that why you're talking slowly like this? Do you talk like? Is that is that part of the problem? Part of the the syndrome? You, uh, it sounds exactly. like you have problems putting words together. Is that is that tip? Is that what you're t referring to when you say cognitive dysfunction? Like things aren't connecting. Exactly. Okay, gotcha. Did it happen quickly or did it happen gradually? Uh, yeah, I think what I'm dealing with is uh, multiple chemical sensitivities. You could uh, be. For example, when the weather gets cold, the cognitive imp impairment uh, gets uh, worse. And I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. All right, let me ask you a couple questions, okay? And just try to keep it, keep your answers like to yes or no kind of thing, no history, because right. I want to get to the bottom of what this is, okay? Uh, are okay. you on any? Are you on any medication? None. And how old are you? I got forty-six. Oh my gosh! And would you say that this is something that that came on like really quickly, or did it happen over the course of like months or years? I've uh, been dealing with this. About five years now. Has it gotten is, worse? Uh, ha hang on, Mike. Has it gotten worse over the course of five years, or you it all of a sudden happened, and this is how you were five years ago, and this is how you are now, or has it deteriorated? Uh, the most part has not deterior deteriorated. Uh, okay, it's kind of been an ongoing thing. Got it. I got it. Okay. So here's a couple things for you. First of all, get the book Detoxify or Die. And I would get it today, Dr. Sherry Rogers. And she talks about chemical sensitivities and what they could do to the brain. It doesn't sound to me like that's what's, what's happening, but it, it could be. The second thing you want to do, if I were you, I would, uh, especially since it's been going on for five years, is do something like a, a hair test, hair analysis, so you can kind of see what you're excreting, what you're eliminating to see if you have some kind of lead toxicity. You know, we didn't talk, we're going to talk about fluoride and lead. It turns out that fluoride actually will increase the leaching of lead into the water. Uh, in San Francisco, I'm pretty sure they use fluoridated water, so you, you may be ingesting lead. There's also problems in northern it, not in San Francisco necessarily, but in Marin County and in the wine growing areas. There's lots of problems with pesticides. That's one of the most, that's one of the highest pesticide uh, uh, concentrations or, or hi highest use of pesticides uh, in the country is right in wine, in wine country right up there. So you may be dealing with some kind of toxicity that way. It's hard to say. Uh, I, I can't tell you on the phone, but if you want some, to try some strategies, make sure you're, I don't know, are you supplementing? I uh, just got that tangy tangerine. Uh, Do it. You ha have you been supplementing for the five years that this has been going on? Some of the supplements I get an adverse Okay. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna want to be a little bit careful with that, but you want to get your B vitamins high doses. Now, I recommend the BTT because it's such a 
dense dose of nutrients. If you find, and you may find that you can't do supplemental nutrients, make sure you're doing lots of vegetable juices, number one, uh, lots of them all day long. In fact, that should be the bulk of your caloric intake at this point anyway, is, is vegetable juices. Uh, the electrolytes are phenomenally valuable. Uh, you're, there's other things that you need, of course, too, in terms of foods. You're going to need fatty foods, things like fish. But the problem with all those kinds of foods is you're going to be dealing with, it, it may be difficult for you to process them, and you're going to be dealing with toxicity. So vegetable juices, aloe vera. And this is if you can't do supplements, by the way. If you can do supplements, that's okay. great. But if you can't, vegetable juices, aloe vera, bentonite clay. You should be doing charcoal every day, a couple charcoal capsules every day. Try to do it on an empty stomach, you know, because it'll tie up your minerals and your nutrients if you do it with, right. uh, with your foods. These are all for, in the interests of detoxification, assuming that you've got some kind of toxicity. High doses of vitamin C, probably the most important of all the detoxifying nutrients is vitamin C. High doses, a couple grams a day minimum. You do more if you don't get digested problems. Uh, magnesium is also important for detoxification. Copper is also important. Vitamin E, alpha lipoic acid, your ultimate selenium. Now these are all supplements and, and you said you have some problems with supplements, but they're, it's worth a try for sure. Uh, anything with sulfur in it, MSM sulfur as well as onions and garlic which are high in sulfur will help, tie, will help uh, attract new, um, uh, poisons out of your body. All right, and get that book, Detoxify or Die. Awesome book, Dr. Sherry Rogers. Okay, Mike? Okay. God bless yep. you, buddy. Good luck with everything. Appreciate it. Thank right. you. And don't, no, don't be drinking the tap water if you can avoid it. All right, thanks so much for your call. All right, let's move on to, uh, do, do, let's go to Elaine in Alaska. Good morning, Elaine. What's going on? Hey, I love all this uh, talk about the fluoride, and I've got a filter uh, I bought about three months ago to filter the... What you got? Right at the pro, pro, pro pure. Okay, and are you, are you liking it? Actually, you know, we got to take a break. I want to talk to you about the because I'm going to talk a little about filters here in the next few days. So, can you hang on a second, Elaine? We got we got to take a break. All right, we'll talk uh, we'll talk fluoride filters. And if you're on hold, you too, hang tight. We'll try to get to everybody everybody today. Eight uh, eight four four two three six sixty ten eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number on the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. So, uh, Elaine, what you have a uh, Elaine, you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so you have a uh, uh, you got a pure pure pro. What did you say it was called? I think it's called Pro Pure. I got it off. I hope I don't sound too radical, but I got yeah. it off that infowarsstore.com. <laughs> why now? Why would you, why would that be radical? I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's slightly uh, radical. Slightly it, radical. I like Alex, though. That's, it's, it, 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 uh, yeah, I want to take a picture of the filter compared to five months of uh, tap water to the new filter. It's unbelievable what I was drinking. Could, now, could you see the stuff that came out? Yeah, the filter's all, it's got these black specks all over. Wow. And that's uh, in Alaska, right? That's, yeah. Are you in a big we, city? Are you in Anchorage? Yeah, and the, the municipality puts fluoride in the water here. Now, this stuff is supposed to take the fluoride out, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's, does it, uh, how's it taste? How's the water taste? It, it's excellent. It's, like it's you could so, tell a difference, obviously. Yeah, I don't uh, eat much sugar really at all, so it's almost sweet, if that makes sense. Oh, that's nice. Does it make you want to drink more water? Yeah. it's just That's so interesting. Fun. Oh, that's really? interesting. I wonder if, like, subconsciously, I always, I know a lot of people who say they don't like to drink water. And I wonder if that's the body talking to them about not just the fluoride that's in the water, but also the other toxins. You know, our water is not, we have an assumption that our water is pure. And there was a whole thing in Flint, Michigan. Remember a couple, well, I guess about a year ago in Flint, Michigan. Did you hear about this, Elaine? Oh, yeah. Where there, there was lead in the water, right? Well, it's not just Flint. Flint got, got the publicity, but there's lots of cities where there's too much lead in the water. Lead is a major brain contaminant or brain toxin. And uh, who knows how much dementia and, and our, like our, our last caller was dealing with cognitive issues, even subclinical cognitive issues where you just forget a lot. Who knows how, how, how much of that is connected to toxicity in the water? We got to be honoring. We got to be honoring our entire environment. But especially the water we drink. 60% of us is water. That means 60% of us is toxic. 
basically, uh, if we're subsisting on water as it's delivered to us. I mean, th th these are the things that we really need government for. If we need government for anything, it's for things like making sure we're drinking clean water, uh, uh, as clean as it can be, not just minimally clean. Anyway, Elaine, I got to motivate. Anything else, I can, anything else um, you want to talk about? Yeah, someone was wanting me to ask about vitamin B17. Ah, yes, Laetrile. That's an anti-cancer. Remember Laetrile? You must have heard. Amygdalin is the technical name. Remember Laetrile? Yeah. It's an anti-cancer substance that the FDA hates and some doctors really like. Uh, it comes from, uh, well, it's one of its main sources is almond seeds. Remember we always talk about seeds as containing and nuts and seeds containing um, uh, toxins because nature doesn't want humans or any other animals, for that matter, eating its seeds. So it puts toxins in the seeds, lectins and uh, other substances. That's why they always told you when you're a kid not to swallow watermelon seeds. I don't know. They told me that, not to swallow apple seeds. Uh, amygdalin is found in seeds. It's got anti-cancer properties. It's cytotoxic and it kills cancer cells. Whether or not it works, I, I can't say. I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot to say about Laetrile or B17, although I think Edward Griffin uh, talks about Laetrile. When he talks about, he has a couple books on cancer and I like it. Edward does some good work. Uh, Edward Griffin wrote that book, Creature from Jekyll Island. Anyway, Elaine, I got to motivate. Have a beautiful hey. holiday if I don't talk to you or hopefully I will talk to you because we've got a couple weeks. Thanks. Yeah. Take care. Uh, Bye. Thanks. Okay, let's go to do, 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 let's go to Lynn in New Jersey. Welcome to the bright side, Lynn. What's up? Hi, Mark. I had to take hey. off speaker. Um, okay, I wanted to uh, to ask you um, exactly what to do um, besides healing the triangle of disease um, for squamous cell carcinoma. What do you mean besides? That's all you got to do. <laughs> Nothing else. But uh, let's throw a couple things in there. First of all, squamous cell carcinoma is skin cancer, obviously, for, you know, just for people who don't know. Uh, it's one of the two major kinds. There's three kinds of skin cancer. You've got basal carcinoma, you've got squamous, and then you've got uh, melanoma. Melanoma is the worst. That's the most deadly. Uh, basal cell carcinoma, not so much. Squamous cell carcinoma, you've got to be careful with. It can metastasize, and, and it's one that you want to be getting rid of. Now, here's the thing. If it keeps coming back, that's where you got a problem. Cancer is, a, is a, like with all health issues, where you think the disease is is not where the disease is. That's just a rule of thumb. Where you think the disease is is not where the disease is. So you've got to treat it where it's not. Does that make sense? That's yeah. all health issues. You treat it where it's not. You don't treat it where it is. Only a doctor treats it where it is, and this is why medicine fails us because it treats it where it is, not where it's not. Where it's not is where it comes from, the soil. And so cancer appears when the soil is sick, skin cancer or otherwise. Now, our brain dead medical model will tell you it's the sun or will tell you yeah, uh, that's basically exactly that's what, what the doctor said. Because they're brain dead. They don't understand how the body works and that's not their fault. That, they're supposed to treat they're supposed to treat the disease. They're not supposed to treat the cause. I, I, you know what? I apologize. I shouldn't have said brain dead. It just makes me angry, so I get No, home. no. I am totally you know, with you. You make me laugh all the time. Um, it's just not. I, I know. I, I appreciate that because it's I do. It's sad, but I, it, it, it yes, is what it is. Yes. You know, I'm out here, and people like me are out here trying to help people, and then you get these others that are saying, blaming the sun. All right, so squamous cell carcinoma is a cell cancer. All disease is cell disease. All, cell, uh, all, all disease is cell disease. Cancer is not a skin cancer. It's skin cell cancer. Cells are fed from the connective tissue. This is so important. Nobody ever talks about this. Cells are fed from the connective tissue. They're nourished from the connective tissue. They're breathed from the connective tissue. And they're detoxified from the connective tissue. Connective tissue also includes the blood. Something's getting into your blood and it's depositing in the body, it's making the cells sick, okay? Now the sun may be involved in the sense that it's a stimulus, and that's an issue. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna be stimulating a diseased system, but you gotta work on the reasons why, it's, why it is diseased, and that means the digestive system first. So when you say everything but the triangle of disease, it's hard to say everything but because it's the digestive system first, how things are getting into the blood. Focus on digestive well, any health. Extras like, um, yes, here's some extras. Let me give you some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm going to give you those, okay? Extras okay. include pigments. Anything that's pigmented, get the ultimate youth. Do veggie juices. Pigments are stored in the skin where they act to sustain and help, uh, improve the health of the skin, and they also act to protect the skin. So pigments, anything that's good for your eyes, 
like NAC. In fact, if you go to get some Occuvite from Longevity, mm -hmm. you can use all. You can use the Occuvite, or you can go buy the individual nutrients that are in the Occuvite. Anything that's good for your eyes is going to be good for your skin in terms of protection. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, because the eyes are a type of skin, you know, the eye, eye cells are the same sort of anyway, kind of sort of, the same cells as skin cells. The eye's like a covering, like the skin's a covering. So the eye has to have elements in it that are very protective for, from the sun. You take nutrients that support those elements, you'll be supporting the, the skin as well. Skin is kind of like an eye on the outside of our body in a sense. It detects the environment the way our eyes detect light. Skin is pretty amazing, you guys. Oh, wow. I've been studying skin for a long time. Skin is really amazing. It's like a massive sensory organ, like your eye is in the middle of your head. You actually have this type of eye sensory system on the outside of your body. So anything that's good for your eye is going to be good for your skin. Uh, zinc, extra zinc, extra vitamin C, extra vitamin E, uh, extra alpha lipoic acid, extra sulfur, bone soup. So many ways you could go. Treat it as an internal issue. Nobody just has skin cancer. It doesn't just happen. It happens in a destabilized system. Hey, I want to get one more call in. This uh, gal's been hanging on for a long time. Can you, uh, I hope I helped you, Lynn. If you want yes, more information, send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Don't forget ultimate enzymes and acidifying the contents of the stomach for the digestive system. Thanks for your call, Lynn. Appreciate it. Naomi in North Dakota. What's going on? You get the last word. How you doing? Hi, Dr. Ben. Thank you so much for taking my call. I have a five-year-old son. And Pharmacist Ben, has, by the way, just to be just to be clear. Oh, sorry. No worries. No worries. Um, Go ahead. He has um, he has broken out in a the best way I can explain it is kind of a rash. It's almost like mosquito bites, um, okay. but it's not on his it's not on his trunk at all. It's just on his extremities. His elbows and his knees and his feet are the worst. Okay. And how um, old is he? Have, He's five. Okay. And we've cut out all gluten, um, all dairy, you know, any... Don't, don't you know, do it that way. It. Don't, you don't want to do it that way. You want to go by his symptoms. He has to have other symptoms. A rash doesn't just happen. It, it, it happens when the body's destabilized somehow, and it will show up somewhere uh -huh. else. So usually okay. food. Usually, I mean, you're on the right track with food, but usually it's going to have how he's processing food. Um, do you, does he have bowel movement issues, gas, bloating, mm -hmm. discomfort, no. complaint? None of he that? He does not. No. Okay. Then you might be looking at toxicity. You might be looking at some kind of toxin. And we're just talking about fluoride. I, I'm out of time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Can you say, if you send an email, ben at ksco.com, put your phone number in there, or you can call back tomorrow either way. Uh, I'll give you, I'll definitely, I'm happy to help. But we, I got to ask you some more questions. We're just out of time. All right. Th thank you, Naomi. I hate to do that to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I do uh, respond to my emails at ben at ksco.com, but it does take me a while, so please be patient and always put your phone number. All right. And that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, for the longevity products, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com as well. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.